school-related news, a panel just approved a plan to enhance security at New York City schools. That plan involves installing a camera and buzzer system at all public schools so the front door doesn't have to stay unlocked and open. But critics say it's going to cost. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller's live in Lower Manhattan at High School. Derek? Ken, good morning from outside DOE headquarters here on Chambers Street. And that panel last night voted to spend $43 million in taxpayer money on these new remote locking doors and that camera system. But not everyone is thrilled about this. The city's panel for education policy, which is in charge of approving contract, contracts, voted to dole out that money to Cybrant Technologies. They're going to install systems that allow for remote locking of the front doors of public schools along with security. Security cameras. Now, right now, every door except the front door remains locked at New York City Public Schools. The idea is to provide a layer of protection in the event of a school shooting. But there was significant debate about this last night. The majority of the panel was appointed by Mayor Adams. All his appointees voted for it. Proponents like Chancellor David Banks say we need to do everything we can to protect our students. But others question whether spending this kind of money is worth it, especially given that some recent shooting incidents involving students didn't happen inside the school. It happened out on the sidewalk away from the school and certainly locking doors are not going to change that. Reporting live here in